Hello guys and welcome, today I'm going to show you how to create a photography portfolio website using Shopify. First be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So now without further ado let's get going. First we're going to go over here to our products section and we're going to click over here on add product. Here we're going to start uploading all of the information of our products. For example we're going to start with our wedding photo photo shoots and here we are going to copy our title and we're going to paste it right over here on the generate product description section we're going to click on generate and shopify using its, its built-in ai is going to create a description for us here we can either choose to generate again or just keep the description we already have here we're going to click on keep and as you can see the description is going to be pasted right over here for the media we're going to click on upload new and we're going to choose an image for our products right over here we're on pro uh, we have the product type section uh, the vendor section our collection section here make sure you add your product to your home page collection and for tags we are going to put for example photography and that would be one of our for the pricing, for example, let's say that we're going to charge around 40,000 pesos for our uh, for our product and our cost per item is going to be around 20,000 pesos. Now right over here below our, se our media section, we also have the category section. Here usually Shopify is going to choose a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. But if we want we can just click over here and change uh, the, the category to whichever one we like. For inventory we are just going to uncheck this because we are not going to keep track of inventory. And here we also can assign a weight to our product in case we are going to do any kind of shipping. Once we are done customizing our product we are going to go over here and we are going to click on save. And as you can see if we go back. You, uh, we would have our first product uploaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add product again and I'm going to keep uploading all of the products that I want on my online store. So once I'm done I'll be back with you guys. So as you can see guys I have added all of the rest of my products. I have added a wildlife photos, landscape photos and also a concept photo shoot. So once we are done uploading all of my of all of our products, we are going to go to our online store and we are going to start to customize it. First, we are going to be able to change its theme. If we go down, you can see that Shopify is going to provide us with a lot of different free themes. But if we want to see more of them, we can go over here to visit the theme store and we can see the rest of the themes of Shopify. Here we can find a theme that can better suit our website. We, but for me, I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. So once we are back over here, we are going to click on customize. And here we are going to have a lot of different sections to customize our website. Each section is going to be outlined by this blue line. And as you can see right over here on the top left, the name of the section is going to be displayed. On our right, on our right sorry, we are going to have a lot of different options to customize our section. And as you can see here, this is our image banner. And if we click over here on select, we are going to be able to select an image for our banner. So once it's done uploading, I'm going to click on done. And as you can see, the image of our banner has now changed. Next, I'm going to click on our heading and I'm going to change the name, the, the text right over here on the right. For example, I'm going to post welcome to my, oops. Welcome to my photography portfolio. As you can see, the text has now changed. Now, let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. What we're going to do is we're going to click over here on add section and a lot of different options are going to appear. For example, we are going to have featured collections, featured product, collections list, etc, etc. For me, I'm just going to choose a featured product. And as you can see right at the bottom, a new section is going to appear. Here if we click on select, we are going to be able to select a product to be displayed right over here on this section. For me, I'm going to choose my concert photo shoot. And let's say that we want to change things up a bit, we want to change our section. 
we're going to put a nice dark theme right over here. Now another things that we can do is we can add sections to both our footer right over here, we can add an email sign up and a custom liquid and also to our header right over here we can add also a custom liquid and an announcement bar. Another very important thing about our header is that right over here our store's name is going to be displayed. So how do we change it? Well, we're going to save our changes and we're going to exit and we are going to go to the home page of Shopify. Here we're going to click on name store and we would be able to change our store's name right over here. So I'm just going to put photography portfolio and I'm going to save my changes. Now in order to make sure that everything is correct we are going to go back to our online store but now we are going to click on the three dots and we're going to click on preview. This is going to redirect us to our website and as you can see here the name of our store has now changed. Now uh, we can go down to make sure that everything else is set up the way we want and once we have checked out our website we are going to go back over here so that we can go over the analytics and marketing section. Now guys, this is going to be a really important section for us because we are going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value and a lot of different things which are going to be really helpful for us such as for example which uh, products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers and much more information which is going to really help, help us manage and customize our website all from the same place. Lastly I wanted to show you the discount section here if we click on add discount we are going to choose an amount of products we are going to be able to customize our own discount for starters right over here we are going to be able to choose our code for our discount for example we can put a portfolio portfolio 101 or if we click right over here Shopify is going to choose a random code for us Below it we can choose which kind of discount it's going to be, for example we can choose a fixed amount or a, or a percentage discount. For me I'm going to choose for example a 10% discount and here we can choose which collections our discount is going to apply to. We're going to click on browse and we're going to choose our home page collection. So now all of the products on our home page would work uh, for our discount. If we keep going down you can see that we have uh, further options to customize our discount such as the minimum, the minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations and lastly if we click over here on set end date we are going to be able to choose an expiration date for our discount. So once we are done customizing it, we are going to click on save discount and we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe give to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.